In many countries, laboratories often have limited resources to provide their services and are increasingly being asked to do more with a smaller budget. Wasting resources has a considerable negative effect on any operating budget, and laboratories rarely have a realistic idea of how much of their limited resources are lost to the cost of poor quality. Evidence from the commercial business and manufacturing sectors shows that when companies adopt and apply a cost of quality concept, they reduce failure cost and improve quality for customers. Today's medical laboratories have incoming revenue from charges and reimbursements and outgoing expenses for labor and operations. Because laboratories are also businesses, adopting a cost of quality concept helps them reduce waste and improve quality for patients and other customers at a reasonable cost. Application of cost of quality is a logical extension of a mature, effective QMS. Any laboratory, whether it has long had a complete QMS in place or has just started to implement a QMS, will benefit from understanding and applying these concepts in both management and technical operations. Most laboratories use methods such as QC, equipment calibration measurement, QA measurements of process performance, and more recently, implementation of a QMS to determine the quality of examination results and laboratory services. However, laboratory personnel often are unaware of the laboratory's financial status and believe that staying within budget is sufficient, not considering that every time work is redone, the cost of laboratory services, as well as the cost of quality, or COQ, increases. A QMS alone does not ensure that all laboratory expenditures support quality. Personnel need to remember that corrections needed for improperly ordered examinations, unacceptable specimens, QC failures, lost reports, erroneous results, and so on, increase laboratory and organizational costs and can adversely affect patient care. This guideline presents a hierarchy of the stages of quality synthesized from the concepts of acknowledged quality experts, describes the concepts and applications of cost of quality as a dimension that is part of every quality level is applicable to medical laboratories of any size, complexity, or specialty, including point-of-care testing or POCT. Other types of laboratories, such as public health, research, food, environmental, and veterinary laboratories, as well as other healthcare services, can also use the information in this guideline provides an initial approach that laboratories can take to identify quality costs and remove unnecessary expense from laboratory processes, and includes several laboratory examples and provides tools and guidance for quantifying costs that support good quality and costs that result from poor quality. In this second edition guideline, a clearer distinction between the cost of quality and the different quality cost types is made. The text is separated into theory and application. Additional examples for calculating laboratory quality cost are included, and a tool for calculating the cost of poor quality is provided. Laboratories should measure the cost of quality in order to quantify the financial effects of process failures. Use failure cost data to identify and prioritize improvement efforts and track progress of improvement initiatives. A critical fourth reason for measuring the cost of quality is to identify and communicate prevention and appraisal costs that, if reduced, could adversely affect quality. By sharing its prevention, appraisal, and failure quality cost data, the laboratory can encourage other healthcare services to do the same. Involving other organizational departments can help to form more collaborative relationships, as well as to support and expand the cost of quality program. 
The purpose of laboratory quality management is to improve processes and procedures, thereby providing customers with the best quality results and services. Adding cost of quality to laboratory operations with or without a supporting QMS can help ensure the laboratory's limited resources are used most efficiently and effectively. Although perfect laboratory processes are generally unattainable, laboratories still need to identify expenses created by waste, rework, and errors and compare them with the expense of preventing those problems. In the worldwide healthcare economic environment, Laboratory funds should be spent primarily on quality activities that result in accurate diagnosis and proper treatment of patients. Money is wasted when unnecessary work is performed or when work that was not correctly performed is redone. Regardless of whether a laboratory has implemented a QMS, the concepts and applications presented in this guideline can be used to identify and promote the principles of quality cost management for detecting and removing the cost of waste and errors. CLSI thanks you for your interest in our standards and guidelines.